you guys. I am pretty much out of healthy, yummy breakfast options. So I'm gonna throw together some really fast paleo pancakes. I'm gonna do like uh, baked in a pan style and I'm gonna whip up a really fast strawberry syrup. So let me show you. Okay, I'm going to use a pancake recipe from this great book, Make Ahead Paleo by Tammy Credicott, C-R-E-D-I-C-O-T-T. -T. I've had this book for years and I really like it. She's got some great recipes. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use um, an apple pancake recipe that she has, but instead of apples, I'll throw in whatever fruit I have and I'm actually just gonna bake it in the oven instead of sweating over the stove making pancakes. So, let's get started. All right, first up, I'm gonna put about two cups of frozen strawberries in a pan with about half a cup of water. I'm going to boil that until the strawberries are super soft. Keep an eye on the water, make sure that you don't scorch anything and you can add a little more as needed. Um, and then when they are super soft and squishy, I'm just gonna turn it off and move on to the next step. Oh, and while I'm doing that, let's throw together the pancakes. Okay guys, I got all my stuff laid out and I have the oven preheated to 425 degrees. I jotted a little note in my cookbook. Um, I bake it 425 for about 15 minutes. I think you could try that with just about any pancake recipe you prefer to use. Anything paleo, um, possibly just regular recipes as well. I basically do the same thing with the cheap like box mix. I have, I'll, I'll put the little link below to that video because I think the cooking instructions are about the same. It's where I got it, so it works great. Um, oh, and I just wanna show you my pretty eggs. It's warming up, as you can see, sunshine. And my hens are starting to lay much more. Isn't that one pretty and a nice pretty light blue one? Yay, okay, so those are going in. Let's throw it together. the pancake in the oven and did you guys even see how yellow those yolks were well it is early March here we have had some nicer weather and the chickens have had a lot more fresh greens to eat grass weeds all that good stuff so it just reflects so quickly in their eggs and you can really really taste it they taste so buttery and yummy right now anywho mixed in the blueberries popped it in the oven now we're gonna work on the syrup so the strawberries are nice and soft. Uh, there's some liquid in here. What I'm going to do is you can pop this in your blender or even like chop it up if you want. I'm gonna use my handy dandy little hand blender here. I'm going to probably need a little more water. So basically I'm just gonna blend it up until it kind of looks like syrup. I'm just doing it by feel. You can't mess it up. It's gonna be syrup. I'm gonna add some honey for sweetener. You could add real maple syrup. Um, you could add sugar, do it the standard way, but I'm not adding sugar, we don't need that. So, let's give it a shot. Okay guys, here it is. So, it's a pretty, pretty color. You can see it's a little thicker than I wanted. So I'm just gonna add in a little bit of water. Water it down, should we try it? I think I'll add a tiny bit more honey, but yeah, otherwise we're good to go. Little honey, little water. And then what I'm gonna do, um, I do suggest any kind of bottle. I've got these bottling bottles. These are awesome for like beer making and kombucha, water kefir, whatever you like. Fantastic, and I'll put a little label on it that says strawberry syrup, so the kiddos know. Keep it in the fridge, easy peasy. Okay guys, syrup is done and cooled enough to handle. 
I did add more honey and water to taste. Um, a tiny bit of lemon juice would give it a really good kick, but I decided not to do that, just to try it this way. A little tip to pour things into jars, use a measuring cup. It is such a huge way to make it easy and fast and prevent mess. Now, while you may not have some of these fancy little bottling jars, you don't actually need any. Just take a spaghetti sauce jar and wash it out, save it, and you can put your syrup in that. It would work just as well. And I think we're going to not even fill the bottle, which is just fine. Natural products like this won't last, like all sugar, high fructose, corn syrup, syrup will, right? So, looks like we got it all about in. Now I have these cute little scrapbooking uh, labels that I love to write, or I think they're like for calendars or something, that I love to write the labels on. And it would be really cute, you know, pick one with flowers or strawberries, put it on here. I don't know where they are. They're not in the bin that I normally put them in. Um, and you don't need one of those. You don't have to get out your label maker. You don't have to do anything fancy. I took a little piece of lined paper. I cut out a square and I wrote strawberry syrup. And I'm gonna use packing tape because, well, some people may have hours to do this kind of stuff. I have a lot of other things I wanna do. So, a lot of other things I need to do, right? Boom, strawberry syrup. Okay, let's grab those pancakes. Actually, I'll grab them for you right now. Cause they're done. And I probably need hot pads. So this pan is a little bit bigger than the one I normally use, although only by like an inch or so. But they look awesome, don't they? So what I'm gonna do, I'm just going to definitely let this cool longer, it feels hot. I'm gonna cut it up in squares and I have, I think I put it away, um, some old Tupperware. Okay, here it is. So I have a few of these. They're just like old school Tupperware. Um, I love them, especially for the freezer because the lids are like soft and pliable. So many things in the freezer get just like so hard and impossible to open. I want this to be easy enough for my whole family to be able to pull it out of the freezer, take some out, microwave it, toast it, doesn't matter, healthy breakfast, easy and cheap and yummy. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, I would love a subscribe. I'm doing more and more of these and they're super fun and hopefully helpful. All right, bye, enjoy.